We chose to do a trip to India because of India's unique uh, position in global climate science. We definitely saw that there is a growing middle class in India with uh, lifestyle that are more similar to Western lifestyle. But what we also saw is actually incredible inequalities, especially in Bombay. Just seeing all those problems firsthand, you gain an understanding of the things that they're dealing with. It makes me think about a lot of things related to urban planning and how uh, a developing country deal with environment issues under the pressure of you know growing economy. We did a field trip to an example of watershed management that is community-based. You know India, and you, you know the monsoons, and you know there's a dry season, but you don't really know how dry it gets. Previously, the government would have to bring food into the village because it was very dry conditions. And what they did was added little contours to help catch the water off of the hills to encourage infiltration down into the groundwater system to help replenish the groundwater. And they said that initially the groundwater table was 60 meters below and it rose up around 30 meters. If you had something like that here, it would just be mind-blowing. That meant a lot to me and also as something I could take as an example and use it as a teaching tool as I go forward as a professor. Everybody insisted that we should raise awareness about the importance of reducing energy waste and improving energy efficiency. One of the ways to do that is to promote the research exchanges between campuses and between countries, which we are trying to start. We're committed to reducing our greenhouse gas emissions to zero by 2050. Okay. And that's a big goal, right? So like, how are we going to do that? Everyone's facing the same challenges, so if we talk, you can really get a lot of information. One of the other goals of the trip was to make connections with the students. We actually traveled with a student from the College of Engineering in Pune, and this really allowed for more real connections when we can discuss about any topic. It's been a most wonderful time to have interact with people, not just from one of the top universities in the world, but people who come from different parts of the globe and how we look at a common problem that confronts all of us. We have already an online platform, Princeton India for Energy and Climate, where both Princeton students and Indian students can bring some inputs. The kind of network we're planning to establish, that would be a very, very big uh, contribution uh, to my own research and to the research of my own friends here, here in IIT and the other institutes across the country.
the hostel. They had nice breezes going through and they had a time of day when you would get the hot shower. We might think getting a hot shower for only two hours in the morning or two hours in the evening is really restrictive. But the girls who were in this, this woman's hostel were just flabbergasted and utterly grateful just to have the opportunity of a hot shower. I was particularly impressed when we got there. I was like, they're doing a lot of stuff with a lot less means. How do they make ends meet? And then let alone meet these energy goals, meet the energy demand, have a more secure power grid. increasingly becoming more affluent, uh, the economy is getting better, and they are desiring a Western lifestyle a little bit more. So they're seeing more and more people have just fans, and air conditioning is becoming more popular, and they're having to think of new ways to deal with consumption. One of the immediate things you recognized when you were in India was as soon as you got out of the airport was the air quality. It was remarkable to me that coming back that Newark airport was clean air in comparison to a lot of places in India. Black carbon and organic carbon, which is from the biomass burning, I can tell you it is that you can swipe on your face and you can see this whole layer of blackness. That is first thing I, I really feel strongly, wow, this is from the data to real life. I think the trip has made an impact on our perspective. I think we seven become very good friends after this trip. <laughs> Public awareness is very important. There's less technology barrier for energy efficiency. And this is part of the reason why I want to go to India, because it can really do something to change the world.